welcome back to my channel so today I have part two of my Zara haul and I just wanted to share some beautiful pieces that I got during the Zara sale and these are pieces that of course you have seen the very professional um, ones as well and I thought I'll just show you some more as well as some other pieces that you can wear in any other social setting. This is the first piece that I wanted to share. Actually, I got this um, during the very first haul, but I had forgotten to show it to you. It's a really great piece. I just love it. I love the cold shoulder detail and the ruffles on the sleeve as well. Very great piece. Gorgeous. It's blue which is such a great color that doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon so I love the sort of flirty a-line looking piece um, at the bottom of the dress and it's very flattering for almost anybody types and if you see it definitely grab it because the fabrication is absolutely gorgeous definitely great um, natural fibers that made this and that's exactly what you should look for whenever you're investing in items look for um, look for items that are made from natural fibers and you're good to go yeah fit natural fibers those are my tips Another piece that you guys may have definitely seen in the first haul. I had agreed to return it, but when I returned it to get the different size, because this is a large, I wanted the medium they couldn't find one and the price was reduced as I had mentioned before I could not justify paying $45 for just a regular knit wear and I've had better so it was reduced to $29.99 so I felt that was a reasonable price so I kept it just in case the medium shows up, I'll definitely be revisiting Zara to see if it's there. If not, I can live with this for $29.99. I see, yeah, I could definitely live with it for, for that price. And it's great material. It also has some natural fibers in it. So I like that. Of course, my huge bag. Inside, I also got this pants. This is a pant that I was eyeing from Zara, but it got sold out so quickly that I never got the opportunity to buy it. And I am glad that I didn't buy it um, full price. As, I, as I've mentioned to you guys before, you, when it comes to Zara, there's no need to pay full price at the very beginning because most of the times they go on sale. So unless you're really like, unless you have a lot of money, um, I would suggest to wait for the sale and invest then in the pieces that you see. It, I'm sure that Zara would repeat them. It often does that. So yeah, a really great piece. I love it. Love the high-waisted detail. Love the wide band. Love this piping around here. Uh, it's it's really good and the fabrication it's very soft it's a knit it's not cotton and so I was surprised about that but I am also fine with it because I got it at a reduced price I think I paid like $22 for it so I'm quite pleased with it I think it fits really nicely very flattering for most body types most women with a very tiny waist and wider hips, very flattering on them. 
definitely how I paired it for work one day in the week and I really loved it. Of course I didn't wear the hat to work but it's winter and it's cold so I wore the hat. <laughs> As I've said before these types of pants I invest in them because they would be in my wardrobe for years to come. And I am sure the whole internet was going crazy about this piece because it was everywhere. I wanted it but never got it when it just came out and of course I wasn't quite sure. And again I am not one to jump on hype because everybody has a different body type. So I wasn't sure that it would suit my body type well. So anyway I was willing to, to take a chance on it because it's on sale. Again, it was reduced to $22, so I love that. And so, yeah, very high-waisted, a great piece to wear for a night out, and paired with uh, your Stuart Wiseman boots or any other over-the-knee boot or thigh-high boot that you have in your wardrobe. Definitely would go great with it. So I'm looking forward to rocking this piece, yeah. So I wanted to show you, you can pair it with either Stuart Wiseman or Sam Edelman or whatever black or grey over the knee or thigh high boot you have. They are obviously not as thigh high on me, but yeah, they go quite nicely with this outfit, I think. towards red as well and when it's high-waisted you have me at high-waisted so I couldn't pass this one really great fit gorgeous wide leg elegant chic professional versatile because you can wear this to a lunch and you can you can wear this to a wedding it it's just it's it's yeah there's yes it's a great piece if you see it and it suits you you like it definitely buy it 22 dollars you can't go wrong really great piece love it chose them carefully I've been looking at them for quite some time so I definitely love them after trying them in the store I definitely could say that I do love them sorry about this mess you know the drill so I wanted to show you this on a hanger because it would look better on a hanger it's a black pussy bow top that oh my god you guys know that I love stuff with strings, right? It's very similar to the one you saw in the false haul 
with the long string that you tie at the neck. I have several of these tops and I can tell you that they never go out of style for me. They are classic pieces for me and they fit beautifully, I think, on my body. So I love them. I think they would fit beautifully on almost everyone's body. If it's your style, definitely go for it. It's a piece that you could definitely wear backwards and forwards anyhow and I do have a video coming up about how versatile these these types of tops are so I'll definitely show you how you can get bang for your money and wearability and longevity if possible out of your pieces so another great piece love it and my last piece is this piece right here and oh my god yes I love green I love green this is not emerald green but I just love it I love the Victorian era style it's high neck I love it love the sleeve detail as well and I actually purchased the green dress the dress version of this top but I returned it because I purchased it in extra large and it was a bit too big and for some reason it has a there is a sewing detail around here I think it's the Empire style while it's very flattering on me most times I find that it was not as flattering as I wanted it to be so I returned it and I got the blouse wanted this blouse forever but it kept selling out and I could never get it wanted the black version as well and never got it so I got that one instead but I would definitely be investing in the black version if I do see it again so these are definitely great pieces for me that would definitely be in my wardrobe for a million years I always say that, don't I? <laughs> but it's absolutely true. I love the button details of this one it's absolutely gorgeous but it fitted snugly so it was a no this other piece I tried it because it's very Chanel-esque and I do love Chanel type of styles and Zara does a great job of emulating and replicating and copying Chanel style but for some reason it didn't fall right on me and I left it this piece is I thought that I would really love this trench like looking dress but it turned out to be a bit too complicated to wear and I have something similar that I also wear 
as a dress so I didn't see the need to invest in it plus I don't think that it fits quite well I don't like the way it looks eventually so that was definitely not gonna make it into my wardrobe this piece I bought online and of course I went into the store to collect it and tried it for $45 this was definitely a no and I bought this when the Zara sale was just on and so it wasn't reduced when I left the store and there was no way I was going to buy it so yeah it didn't make it into my wardrobe <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,